So to prepare this, actually our ninth standard students, they took two half a days. They are going to put here only. Here only. This is only the engine. We are going to call it as. And this is the adjacent tube. And we have here fins. These fins are going to help the rockets to go up. When the wind is, which side the wind is going to flow, usually that side rocket it will flow. That we can easily absorb. So now we have opportunity. We have ten rockets. We are going to launch the rockets. And see the sun and explore the science around us. Wish you all the scientific National Science Day. Science is not just a subject. It has the power to change the world. National Science Day reminds us that knowledge is the greatest gift we can give to the humanity. We come together today. No on this special occasion, I feel privileged to welcome our honorable guests. So first of all, I would like to win welcome our President S G Ramesh Gupta sir. Welcome you sir. Next, I would like to welcome our Vice President B K Ranganath sir. We welcome you sir. And. I would like to welcome the great leader of our school, Principal Sir D C Vasant Kumar Sir. We welcome you, sir. And I would like. Shala of Class 8 ICAC to represent the significance of the day. Good evening to one and all gathered here. Every year, National Science Day is celebrated on 28th February to commemorate the discovery of Raman effect by Sir C V Raman. Sir C V Raman is a famous Indian physicist and a Nobel laureate. Chandrasekhar Venkata Raman, popularly known as Sir C V Raman, was born on 7th November 1888 at Tiruchirappalli in Tamil Nadu. His parents are R Chandrasekhar Iyer and Parvati Amal. His father was a lecturer of mathematics and physics. so that from the first he was immersed in academic atmosphere of physics he was educated at st aloysius anglo indian high school he topped the bachelor's degree examination in the university of madras and the master degree was completed at the presidency college he joined indian finance service as assistant accountant general then he joined iecs indian association for cultivation of science the first institute in india which allowed him to carry carry out his own independent research raman's article named newton rings in polarized light published in newspaper named nature in 1907 he had many scientific contributions to us he was inspired by sensation of tones uniqueness of indian drums whispering gallery and so on raman started to investigate scattering of light in 1919 he, his discovery was about about the blue color of sea water he contemplated the blue colored mediterranean sea using a simple optical equipment spectroscope and nicol prism he studied about sea water Raman could view that Nicol prism influence of sunlight reflected by the surface. He described how a sea appears even more blue than usual. This was named after his name as Raman effect and he discovered it on 28th February 1928. Many institutes and universities honored him for his great contribution. He received Kurzweil Research Award and Whitburn Research Medal while still he was working in Indian Finance Service. For the discovery of Raman effect, he was honored by Nobel Prize in 1930. In 1954, he was honored by India's greatest award, the Bharat Ratna Award. In 1948 he established Raman Research Center and worked as director where he worked for several years only On 21st November 1970 Raman had cardiac arrest and collapsed in his laboratory at the age of 82 He is the most famous and popular physicist in India where he had taken the country at the top level by his dedication and contribution to science 
The theme chosen for this year is National Science Day in Indigenous Technologies for Vikasit Bharat. Thank you. I try to apply the force and expand it. You can observe the rubber band gets stretched. Band gets stretched. But when the same force is released out, it comes back to its original position. This moment of contraction and coming back to its original position is said to have elasticity in it. Elasticity, elasticity in it. Now, my friend Pavani is going to show an experiment which, which is related to elasticity. I'm going to take a plastic cup and fill it with some water. I'm going to take a pepper cup and fill it with some water. And now, by using a sharp pencil, I'm going to perk it. Do you guys think whether the water leaks out or remains the same? Let's observe the changes. The water is leaking out. Now I'm going to conduct the same experiment but instead of paper cup I'm going to use the plastic sealed cover. Don't you feel it is fascinating? Of course it is. As the water does not leak out there is a difference. This is because the water contained in a plastic seal cover contains elasticity in it. Hence, the water does not leak out in plastic seal cover. But when the same experiment is being conducted in water paper cup, the water leaks out as it does not contain elasticity in it. Air is everywhere. Every living organism needs air to survive. It is, it is most important component to all living organism. Air exerts pressure. Now my friend Arun Jai is going to show a small experiment related to air exerts pressure. Yes, I am going to show you how air exerts pressure. I have a glass tumbler, some pieces of paper, By the use of matchstick, I am going to burn this. By my wet hands, I am closing this. See, this is attached to my palm. Why because, why because the inside the, when I burn the paper, when I burn the paper inside the tumbler, it, it goes on expanding. While I kept my palm, while I kept my palm inside the tumbler, it, it goes on contraction and it attached is more than inside the tumbler. So it attached to my palm. Thank you. Earth revolves around the sun. Is this right? Yes. And also moon revolves around the earth, but they never fall anywhere. Now I am going to show an experiment related to this. Here, my friend Nishita has a cup kept on a base with water. Now she will start to rotate the cup with the help of the thread which is filled with water. Let us observe whether the water is going to fall out of the cup or not. When the body is revolving in the circular motion, two types of forces are created. One towards the center called the centripetal force and the another away 
away from the center called the centrifugal force. Due to this centrifugal force acting against the gravitational force, the water in the cup does not fall out of the cup. Thank you everyone. It is good spirituality. A very warm good evening to one and all present here. It is first of all, first and foremost, I would like to thank our honourable president, S.T. Ramesh Gupta sir. Thank you sir for your valuable presence. Next, I would like to thank our vice president, B.K. Rangnath sir. Thank you sir. Next, I would like to thank Sharma sir and all thank part of this program. Thank you guys. Finally, I thank each and everyone gathered here for your great cooperation.